welcome back to another episode of City Skylines Modular Builds. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Thank you for all the kind comments, likes and support on the previous modular build, the uh, Sunset Harbour Transport Hub. Uh, you guys really enjoyed this and there are a few more Sunset Harbour Transport themed modular builds on the way. So make sure you kind of keep an eye out for those. We'll be doing one uh, just using this building right here, the Inner City Bus Hub and also something with just the new overground metro uh, so that'll be really fun that'll be coming up in subsequent weeks uh, but for right now it's time to work on the uh, another viewer request that uh, this time uh, you might remember that the farm over there it uh, was also um, a viewer request so we're going to be doing a campus today as you probably guessed by the title so I'm basing this off of my main series' campus layout and you guys, you wouldn't have had the exact measurements for that, it was built over like two or three episodes. So we're going to kind of lay out a campus layout, you can use any of the three campus buildings for this, you can use the technology, uh, the liberal arts or the regular university stuff. I'm going to be putting the university campus area stuff in, but feel free to use any of the other buildings or any of the other campus types rather, uh, it will work for any of them. Okay, so this is quite a big build. It will take up a fair decent size of your map. and um, So you can kind of scale it down if you want to, but uh, it's going to look great in the end. And what we'll do is once we've finished building the frame here, uh, we'll jump into Begusia uh, towards the end of the episode and you can kind of see uh, how it functions and what public transport I implemented into it. Okay, so let's go. So from anywhere on your map where you want to build your campus, uh, I'm just going to kind of have this big open space here, so I'm just going to place it here, but obviously everyone's map will be different. We're going to use the four lane road with decorative trees to kind of draw the frame out. The first one we're going to draw is going to be the four lane tree road by a distance of 720 cost. So it's a pretty massive road. And, uh, and I believe that's, uh, that's like 90 tiles. So it's a big long road, just like that. And then on the left side of this, you're going to come up with that tree road again by a distance of 4 to 40, which is all the way up here. Just on a 90 degree angle from this point. And then this one right here, we're going to come up by a distance of 3, 5, 20. There we go. Alright, and then to kind of box this rectangle off, we're going to come across from this top left corner by a distance of 6,560. So we can see this is a, it's a pretty big build already, 6,560, there we go. And then with these two ones, it's nicer to kind of break these hard edges. You can throw curves in here if you want, and that's what we'll do here. You just switch over to your curve road tool. Grab any of these points and then line up with the road guideline. Click and drag down. And that's going to give you a nice smooth curve to kind of round it off. If you want to, you can do this in all four corners. But I just like to do it in maybe one or two. Just helps to break up that very kind of rigid 90 degree angle pattern. Entirely up to you how you want to implement that. Okay. So you have something that looks a little bit like that right now. Then we're going to zoom on down into this top left corner right here. And then we can see we have these markers of 10, these little blue circles that appear on the roads. There's one here, one there, one there. We're going to come over to this third one in, so that would be one, two, and three. And then from that point, we're going to move over by one node. So that, you're right there. You'll see where the game snaps, move in like that. And then we're going to draw this road out by a distance of 800, or 20 tiles. Okay, then we're going to grab our curve road tool, we're going to come out by distance of 5, and then curve over by distance of 5. Again, you know you're at 5 because you see that second blue line up here, and then over like that. Okay, and then we're going to come out by distance of 10, or 400, and again we're going to curve by 5 out by 5 and then you'll meet another 800 back down into the middle this is going to serve as a nice little kind of introduction into our campus area okay wonderful then from this point right here 
so we'll kind of look at this first first road that we drew in. We're going to grab this, and we're going to come out by a distance of 400, which is 10 tiles. All right. Then we're going to grab another five curve and curve up by five again. Back to our straight road, and then link this guy back into this main road over here. So from your bird's eye view, we have this bottom left curve in the corner, and this is going to be a nice little kind of head of our campus. All right. And then again, from the end of this curve here, we're going to move up to the second blue node. We're going to click and drag that and draw him back over by a distance of 720. Okay. Then we're going to come to this adjacent node here. So where we drew out from this one, we're going to come over to the other side. We're going to come out by a distance of 800 or 20 tiles. And then again, same with this one. We're just going to drag it all the way back down. Alright, so from the bird's eye view, you'll have something that looks a little bit like that right now. We're going to come over to this right-hand side of the of the uh, the pattern, where we have the curve road here. And then we're going to kind of zoom in a little bit so we can see the snap nodes. So there's one, two, and three, and four before the curve. So grab this one here, which is the second one along the road, so that'll be one, and then two. Then just draw out a little road just as a marker so you know where that node is it, on the inside of this rectangle we've got going on. Then we're going to grab our intersection menu, get a small roundabout, and then we're going to tether this guy right onto the end like that. And then you can delete this road right here. Yeah, we just draw that road in so we know where that second uh, 10 marker point was. Okay. And what I like to do with this roundabout is just make it look a little fancier. Uh, upgrade the roundabout roads into either the two-way, one-way road with grass or the one with trees. Kind of up to you, depending on how tree you want this area to look. And then you can just uh, delete all the trees within the middle of the roundabout that spawn in with it. Okay. And if you want to factor in some varsity sports buildings into this build, then you can do. What I like to do is just draw in uh, another road off this top left corner. And say let's bring it out by 4,000 and then that's going to give you enough room to kind of plant in a few of those varsity sports buildings again I'll show you how I've kind of implemented it in my city maybe uh, a basket uh, the the baseball stadium and the track and field stuff you can kind of place that there it's kind of up to you which one do you want to choose but again you know we'll jump into my main city after this and kind of show you how they function within my campus Alright, so now it's actually time to start placing some of the campus buildings. So, like I said, I'm going to be using the university stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and grab the university administration building. And then we can we can line this guy up uh, perfectly within the middle due to the measurements we did. So, I'm going to drop him right there. So, you can kind of see, if you look at these two squares of four on the, each side of the curve, you can see you're kind of cutting that first bottom left square with the campus building. So you place that there, and then you know that you're kind of right in the middle. You can kind of look down this thing and, you know, just eye it as best you can. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and paint out the campus area, of course. Just kind of paint it out for as much as you want. If you are including those varsity sports buildings, make sure that they're in the campus area as well. So they're counted as kind of, you know, buildings of the campus. And then we'll drag this guy out all the way here. Okay. So, if you're playing the kind of the survival game, you will obviously need to level up your university to unlock all the assets. So you can either just kind of place these one at a time and keep hitting that uh, requirement of uh, campus attractiveness and obviously your student capacity and your academic works. It will slowly unlock over time. Uh, but if you already have them all unlocked or you're playing with the milestones already unlocked, then you know this kind of doesn't matter for you. Okay, so I want to grab my School of Law, which is a, a nice, big, important looking building. And we're going to spread these buildings out kind of across the campus. So with on this road here, which is on the left hand side of the main building, I'm going to line this up with the four tiles that are on the main road. Like that. Okay, so we're going to kind of spread our big, important buildings around in this build. And again, we'll sh I'll show you how I've kind of done that in my city as well. And then with the roundabout, we're just going to draw this guy down um, a little bit of distance. 
and then I'm going to hook this guy back into the main road as well. So your roundabout's going to be looking a little bit something like that. And then I'm going to draw him out like that too. And again, I might as well upgrade these roads just so they look a little fancier. Okay. Then I'm going to grab my school of medicine. And this thing is going to go right up alongside. And I'm leaving a tile, a distance of two tiles between the main road and this building. So just line it up as best you can. And then place him in there like that. Okay. And then we're going to grab the other kind of main important building, which is the uh, the School of Science. And then what I'm actually going to do for this guy is uh, bring out a little path for him, rather than place him on the main road. So obviously with your campus stuff, you can actually place these things you know, on the paths rather. They don't have to be on a road like most assets. Then School of Science, I'm going to have him facing the path so as you're kind of looking at this roundabout right here and you've got this nice big important building so we spread these big important buildings out and kind of from the bird's eye view you can tell that there's something a little more special so they're not kind of all clustered in one little section okay then my commencement office i'm going to place right up alongside here so you can see with the dish with the the measurements that we left we have this like kind of perfect fit on, a, on either side of these tiles. So that's going right up along the uh, the main entrance. So it's kind of nice, you know, they kind of, they graduate where they enter, a little bit symbolic. And then kind of the final touches we're gonna put in. I'm gonna grab some university path with decorations. And then I'm gonna leave two tiles between the kind of small road and where I'm gonna draw these in. So I'm gonna click and drag up here and then draw him up to the top like that. And then the same thing on the other side. So they're going to be up. So we're going to kind of make our university entrance look a little more kind of important and grander right now. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab the university fountain. And I'm going to place this right in front of the main building. Just about there. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and grab our paths again. And then we're going to draw a path straight beneath this one. If you want to, with the paths that went in between, if you maybe get a bit bored of all the trees, maybe go ahead and just switch to the one without decorations. As I find if you use too many of these ones with decorations, it can look a little bit overkill, but it's all personal preference. And then there are a couple more assets we can use as well. So there are two statues within this kind of build. So again, I'm going to go ahead and grab one of them. And then just kind of line him up as best I can with the fountain. Like that. And then we're going to grab another path. Draw it behind him like that. And then I'll use uh, the other one. So let's go ahead and find uh, which one was it we used first. So this is number two. So we'll use the other one this time as well. And again, you just line him up in the middle. You can kind of see how you're lining them up based on on these tiles at the back here. Kind of line them up with that. You see there's kind of three and a half tiles either side of it. It's a good way to kind of help you get the symmetry if you want to. And then again, one more path kind of in the middle. So kind of looking at the university from this main road, you know, you've got a nice grandiose entrance and you know, I'll show you how I decorated this with some nice tall trees and their different little bits and pieces to make it look a little more important. So from the bird's eye view, you have something that looks a little bit like that right now. So with the rest of the buildings, um, it's really kind of personal preference as to how you want to place them. Um, some good little path layouts you can you can use here. So right by the School of Law, I'd recommend that you hook your paths into a few places, kind of to join the main road. It's going to help your campus get a lot more traffic. And then I'm going to go freeform here and take off all the snapping. And then maybe from one of the buildings, one of the paths that comes attached with the main building here, we can get a nice little windy path in. Enjoy up there like that. Now, obviously, if you want to kind of stick totally to the grid, then you know just just carry on doing that. It's really, it's just up to you. And then you've got a whole bunch of places to kind of keep placing all your buildings here. So where we just drew the path, you can maybe get a study hall in here. And you can see that we're going to be leaving these nice perfect four squares behind us. So if you wanted to introduce some zoning into your campus, then you could do. 
And again, let's see what else we have to play with. So it's kind of the groundskeeper one here as well. Let's maybe kind of draw this guy down from this path right here. So now this part of the modular build is really, it's really up to you as to how kind of you want to implement uh, the rest of the buildings into the campus. So maybe we can make a little, uh, like a little dormitory place. Let's go ahead and grab some dormitories. So maybe right up here. And if you don't want them kind of on the road, then you know, feel free to join another path like this to kind of link the two sides together, and then place uh, like a whole bunch of dormitories along here. And then maybe uh, a study hall, kind of right within this section. Again, you can see that we're leaving those uh, those zoning squares either side. So these measurements, they give you lots of nice space to kind of place these buildings around. And then we'll maybe go for... Let's see what else. So there are some other kind of big important buildings too. You know, the auditorium's a pretty nice looking building. You should maybe get this right opposite the, uh, the School of Law. So maybe I might just go ahead and draw in, uh, let's just go snap to our grid. Maybe draw out by two. Now just so it's not on the main road and you're kind of placing these buildings as creatively as you like. Maybe the auditorium right there. So you kind of see, you know, as you kind of place these big buildings, your campus will slowly flash out. Uh, there's the bookstore as well. Uh, the bookstores work really great as kind of main road buildings, so you can kind of place maybe a couple of these along your main roads. Uh, see if we can find space for one more. So like right here, you know, because they're really nice and important looking buildings. They look a little commercial as well, and uh, you know, the, the nice kind of place on the main roads within the campus as opposed to in the campus itself. We've got laboratories as well you could possibly place. So let's try and keep them kind of as far apart as possible. There's also uh, the outdoor study areas here as well, isn't it? And you've got some space here for your outdoor study area. You can even knock this back to kind of sit alongside the main campus building itself. So that's really kind of the template that you can take. So what we'll do now is we'll jump into Bagusia. Uh, we'll have a nice detailed look at everything that we've placed in here and kind of how the campus functions when it's surrounded uh, by kind of a functioning town and within a real kind of city that is, you know, growing and, and moving around. So that's kind of your base template with the road layouts and where you can place kind of your key buildings. Uh, and now let's go ahead and have a look as to how you can decorate this. Alright guys, so hopefully this looks a little bit familiar as to what we've just built over in the Buildville. And we'll kind of take a look as to how this thing functions when it's surrounded by a town and you know how it's integrated in with public transport methods. So we'll start out with the beginning here. So obviously we have the main road, you can see with the fencing. Uh, I've just used the, the park fence in here, so if you want to put that in, that would be the city park fences. It's just these ones right here. You kind of see how they look the same. You see that all these paths are getting nice, lots of use with people kind of coming in and out of the campus. Obviously we have our main building here, and we can see how we kind of took that nice bendy path pattern, you know, breaking out of that kind of rigid grid with all the different patterns, surrounding it by trees. So what I wanted to do with this campus area was surround it with kind of, or well include lots of open green kind of field spaces within the campus rather than having all the buildings clustered together. So you know, that kind of came off nicely I think, maybe a little bit overkill with the redwood trees here. We've also included a couple of little rock assets around the building as well. Made a nice little roundabout here using one of the uh, statue decorations from uh, Part Life, I think, and then surrounded it with little bushes, nice little tree, a little bit of overgrowth. You can just kind of see how people move in and around the roundabout, little pedestrian roundabout, it's quite cute. And kind of over here to the right hand side of the main building. Uh, we've got those dormitories that we placed in. There's the gymnasium here. And a kind of a little more open open fields and uh, included an, another fountain. The groundskeeping there as well. Uh, another dormitory right up against the main road. And you may also notice as well that I've integrated a tram line into this as well, but we'll kind of talk about the public transport in a moment. 
They kind of made a little bit of a focus of buildings around the cafeteria, the chess club, and the math club. So, you know, different building, different campus areas will come with kind of these different clubs. There's, there's like a dance club and a drama club for the Liberal Arts College University, I think. And I can't remember what the ones are for the University of Technology, but there's kind of two small club buildings that you can kind of cluster together. It also included a park asset in here too, the basketball court on the corner of this road right here. So you can see where we came around. And then there's a university laboratory in the top left corner. It kind of spoke about including some buildings along the main road here. So university cafeteria and the bookstore along here as well. And uh, the, the commencement office alongside the main road outside the front of the campus here as well. So I'll try and hang around so if you guys want to try and replicate some of these details you can kind of pause the video and see what I've done if you want maybe a little bit of inspiration. There's a library in here too. Again, uh, that theme of lots of open green spaces. And you see all the paths get in lots of use, very nice. Uh, another library on here as well. And then kind of coming over to the roundabout so you can kind of see we're on the uh, the left side of the campus right here where we put the roundabout in so I surrounded the roundabout with the paths kind of all the way around you know it's not necessary they can walk on the road but it's a nice little decoration touch and then also placed in a university fountain within the the roundabout itself which uh, turned out great School of Medicine which we placed in is right here and then over here we have the School of Science and then with this kind of space here, so you can see I've just hooked it into another main road that ran on my map down this side and a suburb which resides over on this side. So I kind of made like a little supporting uh, nightlife area for my city here, which I thought fit in with the theme of the university town quite well. So hopefully you guys can just kind of see how it fits around another town. Obviously kind of these surrounding areas right here with this main road and this suburb. Everyone's map will be different. And then we can also see how I've included a couple of different uh, varsity sports buildings to sit in here. Just got the baseball park and the track and field stadium. Again, that's just kind of off to one side. So if this is the campus area right here, then you've got the, the baseball stadium and the track and field stadium right here too. Please ignore this very dangerous intersection. I do need to change this. <laughs> then we've got the train line running between them as well. So we'll, we'll take a cinematic look around here as well so you guys can get a good look at them. Uh, in terms of public transport, I've uh, fucked in a train station at the head here. So, you know, the, the campus main building is here and then pretty much directly behind this, uh, we have a train station that's getting lots and lots of use. You know, people want to come and travel to this town. Getting lots of students kind of coming on and off the trains here. So the public transport's working really well. And then we've also got in uh, a tram line, which will kind of run over the tram line now as well. So it starts at the front of the station here, comes out to the left, and actually cuts through the campus on this uh, 800 road that we drew in. And then you, know, you just would upgrade these into your tram roads if you wanted to factor in a tram here. And then we switch to kind of the tram only roads to cut across some of the open grass space, which again, it's just a nice different pattern. And then he also makes a little loop uh, down by the varsity sports buildings. Uh, this tram line does become very busy when there's a match day on, either at the track and field or the baseball stadium. As you can imagine, there's a lot of people arriving by the train and then they're going ahead and, and jumping on the trams themselves. And then rather than making this road here a tram road, because I really wanted the, the, the road with trees in here, I decided to separate the tram line into its own, just like tram only road, and then run this behind all the the, the suburbs and in front of the campus. So you've got a really nice kind of front on the campus there, and you know, there's lots of public transport for people to make use of. People using the trams. We'll have a little look at the uh, the tram line information if you want to find that useful. So there's probably maybe a few too many trams on this line now. You know, it's getting plenty of use. You can maybe do trolleybuses as well if you're playing with the uh, the campus expansion if you wanted to do trolleybus roads through here. Again, I've kind of bordered or in between the tram road and the actual road, I've put in the national park path and done a little bit of tree decorating, which looks uh, much really nice in my opinion.
This is probably one of my favourite builds uh, in this city. I really enjoyed building the university campus. And again, some more detailing with these fences just to kind of create a border around the campus. And, uh, and the tram line over here as well. It looks really nice with the trams moving through the area. And then again, they kind of come over here and stop by uh, the School of Medicines as well and the School of Science over here. Alright guys, that is going to do it for today. If you enjoyed, a like below is always appreciated. Even as much if you didn't enjoy it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. Um, there isn't really an efficient way to place these buildings. It really just kind of comes down to how you want your campus to feel. I wanted lots of open green, kind of green fields and little mini parks in here. And that kind of theming everything around those three key buildings that you unlock towards the end of your campus. Uh, obviously each campus area has different buildings. But yeah, uh, this is definitely one of my favourite builds. Um, if you're wondering, this is my main build city called Bagusia. It's the city of the series of the City Skylands build guide. Uh, a playlist to the full thing will be linked in the description below if you guys haven't checked it out already. You know, if you want to kind of see this town being built, um, kind of, you know, as I was building it and we were formulating the suburbs around the campus itself, uh, then that particular episode alongside the playlist will also be linked in the description as well. Uh, yeah, we kind of build nice stuff like this. But yeah, that's it guys. Enjoy the rest of the kind of outro charge and we'll check out some of the details that we did uh, during the episodes and kind of how busy all this public transport is. But otherwise, yeah, thank you so much for watching and as always, enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>